Why does prolotherapy or PRP cause flare-ups in some people with dysautonomia? Could fusion be more effective with getting the vagus not get with, with getting the vagus not get crushed? Okay, so people would flare from it for different reasons, but it would mostly be that it's not the right solution to the particular problem, right? Um, so prolotherapy or PRP is kind of designed to change the, the ligamentous structure, how how the tension of a ligament. And if that's not the thing though, it may be that we actually cause an augmentation that works in a different direction. Fusion is tough because you can't take that back once you do it. And anything that would cause, if you're looking at a fusion, the fusion should be there because there's no supportive structure that would allow it to exist otherwise. And if you can't do that, then that, that opens that door. Otherwise you're looking at how do I make it so that my system can control movement in a way that is more reliable than me having to, to throw pins in there.